Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into our video. This is Steve. I'm coming to you live from the ABSPD studios in Burbank, California. So just wanted to film this video to review about how to navigate through the course. As I know, we throw so much at you in that first face-to-face -face that it's hard to take it all in. So just want to do this as a review. So how do we navigate through the course? Well, each week, there's a series of lessons that you're supposed to do. Most of the weeks as you go through the course, you're gonna have two lessons to do. In the first week, you'll have one just to kind of help you ease on in through the lessons. So let me just show you this lesson in mathematical mindsets and how this might work. So just under week three, I'm just gonna click on, this is called a page, which looks like a page here with this little corner turn. The other thing that you'll see in the course is a discussion forum, which are these looks like these little quote boxes there that are both blue and green. That's gonna be always indicating a discussion forum. So mathematical uh, mindsets, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And essentially to handle a page, what you're doing is you're just gonna read on through. So whatever helps you learn, if you wanna take some notes, feel free to do that. And also feel free to go through these lessons multiple times, that that's the beauty of online learning, you can do that. But what we're expecting you to do that's that you read through the text that you have, and every so often in the course, you're gonna have videos as well. To start a video, you would just click on the play button. And one option that you're given is in this lower right hand corner, you see this broken square. And this broken square is the full screen option. So if you'd like to have a full screen, just click on that and that will make this particular video full screen. So that will help you as you go through looking at various videos. So I'm continuing to read, you might see some pictures, but again with another video, I can watch that and make that full screen. So. Once I've gone through, and of course, you're gonna do this a lot more slowly than what I've done. When you reach the bottom of the page, you know that you're done when it says onto the discussion forum. So we'll do that next. I'm just gonna click where it says click here. Always these blue things with click here, just do what it says, click here. So we're into the discussion forum now. And so you're gonna read through the um, questions and you're always given options on what to do. Usually you'll have three or four options on what to do in any particular forum. But take these forums seriously, please. This is really where a lot of learning takes place in the course. When you do your post, you're really reflecting on what you've learned. And especially when you're responding to someone else, just don't say, oh yeah, rock on, I really love what you say, but really try to share some of the things that you're doing. Just picture, if you will, if you were sitting at a face-to-face -face workshop across the table and you had three other learners there and you were talking back and forth and sharing and exchanging ideas. This is really what we're gonna expect that you're doing in the discussion forums and the replies to that as well. So don't just say rock on, yeah, I agree with you in a reply. Instead, talk about why, and we have those discussion forum posts and reply guidelines sheet that you should be following very carefully as you go through. So how do we make a post? Well, after we've read through what we're supposed to do, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see a rectangular box that says, add a new discussion topic. So we'll click on that, click, I've clicked on it. And so I'm gonna scroll down once I'm on the new screen. And you'll notice what happened is that a new tab came up. So always when we click here, a new tab is gonna come up. So once again, I'm gonna scroll down toward the bottom and it says your new discussion topic. So I'm gonna put a subject in. If you can, please help me out and write the name of the question that you're doing. So let's see, this particular forum had three different questions. Question one says how you're going to share the information. So I'm going to title my um, post here one, how will I share? And then I'm going to go through and write my brilliant post, which is going to be at least six sentences, and it's going to really be good, and it's going to be grammatically correct, and it's going to share a lot of great information. Hey, let's say in this I wanted to share a website. Oh, okay. Well, I can do this. What I'd like you to do is just write in the words, click here, because that's what folks are used to doing. And so what I've done is, is written that word. I'm going to highlight it, just holding down my left mouse button, scrolling across, hold down my left, scroll across, and it's turned this blue. Then I'm going to go up here to this chain link where it says here it's about halfway across the top. 
and I'm going to click on it. It's going to bring up a dialog box. So you have two options here. You can enter a, a URL, a web page address, or if you wanted to share something from the computer you're working on, you could browse repositories and find it there. I'm going to enter a URL. I've got the Illustrative Math website up. So I'm going to do the same thing I did a minute ago. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button. I'm going to scroll all the way across and I am going to then right click and copy and I'm going to bring that back to the forum and I'm going to do right click and paste and that's going to come in and <clears throat> always at this checkbox at the bottom where it says open a new window check on that baby and then click on create link and you'll notice once you click off this is now you've got a blue live link which other learners will be able to follow. So that's the procedure which you would use in order to do that. So let's say I've then gone back and written some more stuff, blah, 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 and everything's wonderful, and I wanna post it to the forum. I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom and there's a blue rectangular box and if I click post a form, it will do that. I'm not going to do this in this particular example since this is the live course that you'll be using. But you would post it to form and it would come up. You can, after it's posted, make changes if you notice some grammatical mistakes. But one thing I may encourage you to do is write your post first in maybe in Microsoft Word or in a Google Doc so you can check it for grammar and then copy it and paste it inside the form. That's, that's a good practice to do. So... <clears throat> That's how we would go through and make a post. Some other things that you may want to keep in mind is you have an opportunity to download resources inside the course. So anytime it says, you know, click here to download a short handout, etc., go ahead and do what it says. I'm going to click here. The handout is going to come up. And I've got some options as to what I can do. These are already here in PDF. So what I might could do is my screen gives me options where I could download this, you could print it, um, you could do a right click and save as if you're working on your own computer. If you do this in Google Docs, if you open up your, um, your Gmail and you could save it easily too in your Google Docs file as well if you choose to use that because we've integrated Google Docs into the course and so it's easy to do that but there's many ways you can do that but anytime it says click here all those resources are there to use. You don't have to ask our permission or do anything. They're there. And you know, feel free to make changes, tweak it. You know, what works in one class may not necessarily work in another. So you know, make it your own. Do whatever it takes to make that successful. But anytime you do that click here, it's going to always open in a new tab. So maybe by the end of a work session, you may have multiple tabs going. So pretty much um, you're going to work through the page, go through the forum, answer the forum. And when you have... Um, completed all the work for that week, then you're done. Generally, we've got a couple of weeks open in the course so you can work ahead. As always, and what we talked about during the face-to-face -face was that it's best to really get inside the course a couple different times of the week. Maybe early in the week, you know, kind of go in and see what's there, get an overview, see what's expected. Ideally, try to do a lesson earlier in the week. Maybe in the late week, um, try to do the second lesson or on a Saturday morning. What you want to try to avoid is trying to do both lessons starting like at 8 o'clock on Sunday night when they're due that night at 11.59. That's just guaranteeing a frustrating experience for you as you try to cram everything. So try not to do that. Try to keep up. And you're, all, you're really going to want to get into the course at least twice because you want to go back through and see who else has posted so you can respond to those posts. But the big thing is always if you need help, don't suffer in silence. Get some help. If you have colleagues at work who are you know, experienced in working with online courses, they can help you. But please know I am available. You've got my email. You've got my phone number. So please call me. Please shout out with an email, and I'm glad to help you. We can even Zoom where we're both physically present here in a, um, in a format like this on this video screen. I can actually share your screen and look to see what's going on there as well. So don't hesitate. I'm always there and always glad to help. Well, I'm, I'm always there, but especially um, Monday through Friday. And so if you need help during the week, that's a great time to do it. I, I will not be in the course on Sunday and occasionally I will check email on a Saturday, but not usually. So if you need help, it's best during the week to um, you know, kind of make sure that everything's okay. But if the worst comes to worst, yeah, we can get it worked out the next Monday morning because generally I don't start grading till 
you know, Monday morning at 7.30 anyway. So no worries. So look forward to having you in the course. It's going to be a great experience. You're going to learn a lot, and uh, we're going to have some fun together. And uh, I want to thank you in advance for all the hard work that you're going to do inside the course.